Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I just got Sebastian off on the bus and Mok Jack's up. This dog is sitting here wanting me to play with him. It is supposed to rain today. No bark. They were even saying at one point a little bit of snow, like a dusting. I was like, that's not gonna happen. It's not even raining yet. And it's gonna be well over freezing by the time it does. It's already over freezing. It's like 38. There's no snow happening. But the kids do have a three day weekend. I don't know if there's a holiday or if it's just a teacher work day, does it say? We might get either an H or a P. P planning day, so not a holiday. But that's nice. I'm looking forward to not waking up early on Monday. Sebastian wanted to be up in his room again, working on his Pokemon card, a shuffling, moving them all by HP, which will be a little tricky <clears throat> because if he gets one that's like a high HP, he's gonna have to move everything down. <laughs> but he's just really excited because the room is different. And yeah, it'll be much better once we have new furniture. I thought he'd be super excited to keep the bed that's in there because he really likes it, but he actually said that he does want a new bed. I'm like, but it's gonna be smaller and you can't fit all the stuffed animals. So he was very torn. But I said, you don't have to feel torn right now because you get this one for now. The only way we can afford this new furniture right now is if we don't pay $400 for a new bed and plus a new mattress because we don't have a twin one right now. <clears throat> no bark. So yeah, he's excited. And is there anything else to say? I don't know, I don't feel good. Like my intestines are all backed up again. So I'm feeling bad that way. I'm gonna try and be gentle with my body today. It's still just draining. Danny sounds rough and, and he's using a lot of throat lozenges. I luckily did not get much of a sore throat. It was kind of swollen-y, like it was gonna get sore the very first day, like Saturday. And then, I don't know, I just started loading up on zinc as much as I could, I didn't have a lot. And it just quickly progressed to that minor runny nose. And I've had that burning feeling in the beginning from my nose, but yeah, really mild cold. So I'm feeling bad for Danny having such a sore throat, but I do have throat lozenges from all those other colds that we've had. So my hair is drying, so it's a little, I let it just completely dry with conditioner on it. I come in, but it sounds like Jax is coming down, so I'm gonna make his breakfast and lunch.
And there's the fire station. Well, yeah, they have to jump out of their pants and stuff. You might as well have comfy shoes ready to go. You think you can climb up in your uniform? Yeah. They've, they've got heavy uniforms. They've got your head. <laughs> we had to get the authentic colors, right? As you saw, I tried on my sweater so far, so I just threw on my pajamas afterwards. I was getting Sebastian to bed because it was late, and I didn't have time to talk to you guys. Just putting this mask away. I don't know what's going on with him, but he is still sneezy and snotty and coughing and hoarse. Like, it's like fall all over again because he got sick two weeks ago I caught it a week in it's been almost a week tomorrow will be a week so I'm over mine and he seems like he's getting worse I don't know like it's still just a cold and I know allergies could come into it some but and now Danny's getting sick it's just like oh. so I messed up in his room because who knows it might be a different batch of terms that my body does not know how to fight. My glasses are up there. Anyway, I talked to you this morning. I don't know if I mentioned I was kind of craving berry crumble even though my digestive system is a little off. Luckily, it woke up. I had some caffeinated Earl Grey. Did I have Earl Grey today? No, I had chai spice tea in the morning. And dropped Jax off at school. I got a grocery bag. I was planning on going to the coffee shop right by the grocery store and knitting and looking for a recipe for berry crumble. But oh, it was packed just looking through the window from my car. So I just sat in my car, <laughs> didn't knit, I looked up some recipes, and just decided I wanted to do it kind of shortcutty that's all I really had in me. So I went in and I got snickerdoodle dough. I almost said batter. The recipes I saw called for sugar cookie, but I like snickerdoodle better and that one was on sale. <laughs> so I did that. And it was Mrs. Fields brand, the, the famous mall cookie brand. So I got that. I got two kinds of pie filling, strawberry and blueberry, I made sure they weren't like the yucky high fructose corn syrup kind of, they're better ingredients. And when I was getting those, I got some mini pie crusts, like graham cracker crusts, because I was pretty sure getting those two big cans, I was gonna have too much filling, but I wanted both strawberry and blueberry. What else did I need? I did go to the ice cream aisle, like the non-dairy, so that I can have it. And they had a blueberry oat crumble ice cream. And here it is. I didn't film what our dessert looked like, but 
I warmed up those berry crumble bars and served it with ice cream on top. Mm, that was good. Myself and the kids just inhaled it. Anyway, so I think I got egg bites because I wanted eggs and we're running low and I didn't want to use up all the week's eggs. Eggs are getting expensive. Giant grocery was my go-to for eggs under $5, but now they're $4.99. They were like $4.70 for the past month so they're creeping up and they're gonna breach the five dollar mark soon so i got egg whites and i think i only got more stuff what else did i get i don't know i don't know <laughs> hmm. So yeah, I came back and I both cooked an egg scramble for me. So like I cooked some potatoes, shredded potatoes, spinach. Ah, I've got a really painful knot. I'm like rubbing my back. Spinach and egg whites and I put hot sauce on it. I was cooking that and eating that while also making the crumble so you like add some extra flour and quick oats to the cookie batter crumble it up so push it into a foil lined pan cook that for like 15 minutes as you press then you take it back out and you put the fruit topping on and then you have some more of the cookie dough mix. I actually increased it because I was gonna do the pies and I did not have enough crumble for the top of the pie. So I added more flour, brown sugar, and a little bit of butter just to increase like a traditional crumble topping. You mix it all up, covered it, put it back in the bake for like a long time. <laughs> it was like 40 minutes, I think. The pies, I had seen a recipe for the pie and it's, the mini pies were supposed to be 15 minutes but they were in the big oven and our big oven sucks. So they were in there for like almost 40 minutes too. <laughs> our little convection oven is the best for anything that fits in it. So those were out to cool for an hour and then I moved furniture again in Sebastian's room just bringing more things in. I really wanted the cube shelves to be in his closet, but they're just, they're wide, they're deep. So he wouldn't have had any room to like get in front of them and pull things out. So I had to scratch that. If there's just gonna be one in the middle, right in the door, that'd be fine, but no. So I put one out where I think we're gonna get a white one next to the closet. And then the other one is still the temporary nightstand. I think I wanna get one that's only two cubes and they now have legs you can put on the bottom, like a stand. So it would raise it up to a really good height for a nightstand, but it'd still have that long surface and two spots for cubes. So I'm excited to figure that out. And I moved the big bookshelf into the closet. So he has all his books and some more of his toys. I will dog here so my eyelashes so I was doing that until it was almost one like time goes so fast when you're moving furniture my biceps hurt I keep picking up the shelves instead of sliding them so I made myself a yogurt bowl and I think I had to go back up and measure because I was sending Danny, just like my ideas for which furniture, we're trying to get a plan going. So I was going back and forth and eating that, being on the computer, looking things up on Ikea and measuring things. So. And then it was time to get Sebastian. He wanted to finish up his Pokemon card project. We had gotten them all sorted by HP. And then he had started putting them in his portfolio. He's got one portfolio that he's putting all the high value HPs, and then the other one that opens and closes. Thank you, cats. That one has 70 and lower because he gets so many of those. I know we're going to need to move the pages around to add more pages as he gets more 60s and 70s. There you go. But he had, Sebastian had started putting them on all in the wrong order. 
even though the piles were in order. So I, while I was moving things around, I did fix those and do a little bit more. So we picked up where I left off. I was gonna do art. I'd even turn on the light, left my phone down there on the table. I went up to get him a reward card and I just got stuck there. <laughs> but then Jax came home right when we finished and I was like, let's just go to the fire station, get it over with. Everybody's feeling a little awkward and shy. I was shy when I was little. I'm introverted, but I'm no longer shy. I just trained it out of me. I've truly realized that I don't care what other people think about me unless they think I'm just a cruel and bad person. That's the only thing that will embarrass me. If people think I'm mean or awful or just like a bad person, unkind. But they don't generally have that problem, which I really are not to have that problem. So yeah, I just headed there. I mean, the office manager had known we were going to, but I didn't expect them to tell anybody. I thought they would be there because it wasn't time yet, but no. You walk in and there's a vestibule and you could see into the fire garage. You can see through the door off into their kitchen and down along the hallway and you can see the office and it was dark. So I was like, hmm. What are we gonna do? They did have some little bins that said like donations and stuff, but it was like a slot for like money. And I was like briefly considering did the chocolates fit? Would they look at it? And it's very antique looking. Do they actually use this? Don't know what. And then I just started evaluating all the buttons. There was one that said call, there's one that said doorbell. Once I saw that, I was like, alright guys, should I push the button? And Jax was just like so he kept saying, this is so awkward. He can tell that he was feeling awkward. And Sebastian was excited and said yes, but he was also did not want to talk. I'm like, don't worry guys, I got this. I can talk to anybody, it's fine. So push that doorbell and you hear, Dun, there is someone at the door <laughs> or something like that. This announcement and I was just like, all right. <laughs> And this guy in a medic uniform comes in and he's so nice, he opens the door and the first thing I wanted to say, just to clear any confusion is, we have a donation of chocolate for you. I didn't want him to think he had to buy it. And then I explain, he's, he's been selling chocolates and a dear friend across the country asked if she could buy us out and donate the chocolate to the fire station, so here we are to deliver it. And he's like, oh, that's so nice. And he let us come in and see the fire truck because he saw Sebastian all dressed up. So Sebastian got to sit in the fire truck a couple times. And he did offer to show more when he said, Sebastian's like, no, that's okay. I think he was just feeling very shy. And we did get an excellent tour of the fire station when we did our little homeschool field trip. So, we said thank you so much, enjoy the chocolates, and headed out. Right when I got to my car, we, I heard the tone that they get when they have a call. So we just sat there for a minute to see if they were going to need to bust out. I actually brought up Twitter. The only reason I use Twitter is to see what the sirens are. When I hear the sirens, I have their feed and they automatically post it to Twitter. So it was a medic call, so I think our friend was the one that left and we saw the ambulance head out and then we drove home. It's been just raining all day, we were getting rained on. But then it was five, so I had to start dinner because the Popeyes take about an hour to cook. So I handled that because Danny's feeling like garbage and just monitored them. Cooked Jax's food when it was almost done, everybody ate. And then the crumble, as you heard, we did a little bit of knitting, and then we just got Sebastian in bed, and here we are. So, that was my whole day. You guys who listen to this little monologue at the end, you are the true family. You're my little family here. I appreciate you. I appreciate the messages you send to me. I appreciate the comments. They make me smile. They come through and I'm the worst at actually clicking through because it shows me the whole comment. And I'm always just busy. <laughs> I'm doing things and I'm like, no, Stephanie, be responsible. Don't get on your phone right now. And then, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But I appreciate, I appreciate you. Thank you. 
I'm gonna say goodnight though, because this is too long. Good night, Stacy. Be kind and don't forget, wash your hands. Turn off.